If you've ever struggled with insomnia, you probably know the impact a lack of quality sleep can have on your mental well-being. Now a new survey by U.S. researchers has drawn a link between depression and sleep apnea. It's a dangerous condition which affects about 4% of Canadians. It stops them from breathing for moments at night as they sleep. CBC News medical specialist Dr. Carl Cabasel is here to tell us more. So tell us a little bit about what exactly this research reveals. Well, this is a very interesting survey because it confirms what uh, we've long suspected, which is that there is a link between sleep apnea and depression. In this case, there, it was a survey where researchers asked people about their symptoms. So it wasn't depression per se, but some of the hallmark symptoms of depression that seem to be very strongly associated with sleep apnea. And so how does someone know if they suffer from sleep apnea? Well, really, the, the classical signs and symptoms include, you know, sort of daytime drowsiness and also having difficulty concentrating. What people may not realize, though, is that it can actually elevate your blood pressure and also put you at risk for heart attacks and strokes. And so what kind of treatment then is available? Well, in terms of the treatment, uh, there's a wide range of things that can be done. From a lifestyle perspective, it may be as simple as losing weight because the tissue around the neck can help to, to close off the airway. It may require surgery to do the same thing, to free up those tissues. And uh, finally, though, probably the most uh, commonly known treatment is what we call a CPAP machine, which is a machine that blows air under pressure into the airway, opening it up and, and allowing the person to breathe better. All right, Dr. Carl, thank you very much. Thank you. Now don't be nodding off. There's still lots to come on the National